the most common problems in the home setting are leakage around the feeding tube. A full stomach can sometimes result in leakage and poor healing around the tube. Adjusting the rate of the feeding can often correct this problem. Tube blockage. Flushing before and after medication and feeding can decrease this problem. Nausea or vomiting, diarrhea, constipation, granulation tissue, new tissue that rises up around the stomacite, accidental removal, skin infection, tube migration. Buried bumper syndrome may occur if the bumper holding the tube inside the stomach becomes lodged in the abdominal wall. Knowing what to watch out for will help you quickly manage these problems with your healthcare team. Refer to the troubleshooting section in the back of your Feeding Tube Home Skills booklet for information on how to handle each of these problems. Notify your healthcare provider if there is no improvement in any of these conditions. Problems that need immediate attention 1. Choking or difficulty breathing may be due to aspiration. The tube may be misplaced and the feeding has been inhaled into the lungs. Stop the feeding immediately. Keep the patient in an upright sitting position or elevate the head of the bed at least 45 degrees. Call 911 as this can be a life-threatening emergency. Tube. The G-tube or J-tube has moved from its original marked placement. Shut off any feedings that are in progress. Check the marker to verify if and how much the tube has moved. Check the placement of the tube withdrawing fluid from the tube with a catheter tip syringe. Check the color and pH of the contents returned. A pH of less than 5 with clear to light green contents indicates a stomach placement. Call your provider for directions on next steps. 3. The G-tube or J-tube has been pulled out. The tube can accidentally be pulled out. Shut off any feedings that are in progress. For a G-tube, cover the stoma with a small clean dressing and tape. The G-tube needs to be put back in as soon as possible, within one to three hours, so the tract will not close. For a J-tube, do not attempt to replace and notify your doctor's office immediately. Congratulations on completing your Feeding Tubes Home Skills program. Remember to call your doctor if you have any questions. If you have a skill kit, bring that out now, since we will pause and give you a chance to practice what you are learning. You can also refer to your booklet and checklist, which gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Please complete the evaluation that is in the kit or online at surgicalpatienteducation.org. We want to hear from you to make sure that you are getting what you need.